Excellency, we are very grateful for your visit to his house to express your condolences to the wife and the family. And we also thank you very much for making time to meet us at this short time. It's, it's just, it's unbelievable, but it's just three days since his passing and you have made time to meet us today. We are indeed grateful. When you visited us, you indicated that the state will be significantly involved in this in these preparations and this event and we are glad to report that we have had excellent cooperation from your staff especially from the state protocol and we have made extensive progress in the in the discussions i think i belong to a large number of people in ghana who find it so difficult to understand that uh, the vice president and mr arthur is no longer with us listening to his brother speak. Um, it's almost as if you know, having some kind of hallucination because it's difficult still to assimilate the information. This is a very vibrant uh, personality in our national life and uh, who still had so much in him to give to Ghana. But as you said, the ways of the Almighty are not our ways. So we have no option but to accept what happens to us. I think that the reception that the news of his death received is a testimony to how the generality of Ghanaians felt about the man. Across the political divide, all different aspects of our society, everybody has been touched by his passing, especially in this very dramatic manner in which it took place. As I said when I came to the house on Saturday, I was told about this early in the morning of Friday. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it for several seconds when the Minister of National Security rang to let me know what had happened. But um, not being able to come on that day, I asked the Vice President to come immediately. He came with the Chief of Staff to come and express to the family, to the widow, to all of you, our deep condolences about what had happened and indicated that the first opportunity I myself would like to come and express my feelings in person. And I was able to do so on the Saturday. Uh, it's very sad circumstances. He wasn't a very close friend of mine, but I knew him. I had a great deal of admiration and respect for him. I thought he was a very fine public servant. Uh, he's a man of uh, dignity and humility, he conducted himself very well in the public space of our country. I'm um, a little bit touched by these his wishes for a simple, solemn, dignified burial. There's a part about it where we have to part company. He's no longer just another member of the family. He is state property. Uh, he is uh, a high-ranking official of our state, a man who was vice president, who therefore could have become the president of Ghana, is not, with respect, an ordinary person who has to be treated in the normal manner. So, to some extent, those wishes will have to give way to the status that he had. I've decided, and it is an obvious decision, that he should be given a full state burial. And as of today, for the next five days, Ghana's flag, national flag, will fly at half-mast here and across the country in commemoration of the death of our former vice president. We're opening a book of, an official book of condolence for him at the conference center and from tomorrow morning. And instructions have been given by me to the foreign minister to open books of condolence for him across all the missions of Ghana across the world. That everybody should recognize that uh, it is a national loss that we in Ghana are suffering not a loss for his party or for his family 
or for the community from which he came. It's a loss for the entire Ghanaian nation. And it is on that basis that the arrangements will be made. Uh, places where he should be buried, of course, those are matters that the family has to have a predominant say. We can only think of how difficult these moments must be for the mother. And that in her old age she has to bury her son. That cannot be an easy matter for her. And she will have a last say. We don't have a problem. But the funeral will be a funeral conducted for him by the state and the people of Ghana in uh, commemoration and in acknowledgement of what he was and where he was in our national life. But as I say, um, I um, would like the rest of the Ghanaian people, we are very sad at his departure. He was a fine public servant. Our nation is poorer for his departure. But what we will try to do is to show our appreciation in the manner in which we send him off. So I'm grateful that you have come here today to inform us formally about what has happened. And on our side already, the Director of State Protocol and the others are involved with you. They'll be more involved and they will do whatever is necessary for us to be able on that day to give him that dignified exit that he sought. You can say it once again, Thank you.